shelter is 100% done depending on the next water test which probably not going to be able to do for a few days because temperatures are going to get really really cold and it's probably 27 28 degrees tonight and overnight tonight is minus 13 next day minus 17 minus 13 minus 11 cold days coming up probably not going to want to go out in this that type of temperature so i'll probably record some indoor stuff try to figure out how to do this of uh, ration videos anyway let me show you what the bushcraft shelter looks like from the main trail can you see it from the main trail the objective goal is to make sure you can't and the main trail is just literally feet away as a matter of fact we'll figure it out one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so there's a trail that goes right through here and nobody the trail used to go that way but people actually walk through this way and since people walk over through this way and you can see the shelter if i put the camera up high enough okay so we're going to go over here a little ways about 75 feet or so and we're going to see if we can see the shelter and where we can see the shelter from okay i can see the shelter entrance from here but you know you'd have to be kind of looking at it looking for it so if you're just kind of walking around you might see it but the entrance i'm going to cover so once i cover the entrance you're probably not going to see it <clears throat> can't see it can't see it. it gets covered up by the trees All right, I guess I could maybe kind of see it. No, I'm looking at the viewfinder. I can barely see the top, but once that entrance is covered, you're not going to be able to see it from here. All right, could definitely see it, which is why. I put that big giant long stick there. Maybe put a couple going this way or something. Make it look like that fell from the tree. You may not be able to see it. All right, the trail continues over here. And can you see it? Through the trees. And you're not really gonna be looking for it because you don't know it's there. The problem is that's the biggest mound of pine needles and what's nice is this big branch right here covers up the view that's why i was disappointed that someone had saw that wasn't me someone else saw that with a handsaw or broke it off or something because i don't see the piece anywhere everything i got was off the ground and there were some pieces over here off the ground anyway that covers that up I was trying to get this up off the ground and move it over there, but it's frozen to the ground. And see, you, it starts to open up a little bit. And you can kind of see it. You see this big mound? But if I take something and i run it across here to make it look like it fell from this tree it would block the view and if you don't want like predatory animals and stuff to i'm not trying to hide from law or anything but if you're building a shelter and you don't want the predatory animals to see it if the human eye can see it predatory animals can see it a lot of predatory animals have better eyesights than we humans do. So if you want to hide it from predatory animals, you need, you need to do something like what I'm thinking. Put up branches and different things so people, or excuse me, so predatory animals can't see it. Or if you don't want people to see it either. So, all right, well that's my video for today. Have not done so, press that like button. Please subscribe to my channel. Channel is doing awesome. I mean, really wonderful. Thanks to wonderful, wonderful people like you. 
So keep it up. Mystery box comes to the person after I get 1,000 subscribers. So if you have not done so, make sure you subscribe so you could be part of the 1,000 people that I'm gonna draw a name from a hat from. Yes, I've been writing the subscribers' names down. That way, you might get a chance at a mystery box and there will be a Montana hat in the mystery box. So, until further notice, I'll see you then.